chat and say it's just an ordinary crap, but I know it's not because at night there's voices. So please, please, could you send someone to fix it? Or a policeman. Or. Hi, welcome to my channel, Humanity. So happy you're here. It's a great day. I hope you're having a great day. This channel, we talk about the 12 laws of mind, and they are laws, they're principles. And so you can't find them, you gotta work with them. And if you work with them after you become aware of them, it's just amazing. Your life becomes amazing. And so part of the struggle is flipping your thinking from automatically assuming the worst and preparing for the worst and planning for the worst, you know, to assuming the best, planning for the best. You know, doing the same things you've been doing, but doing it for the best, towards life, towards love. Most of us do that. You know, but we fall down a little bit when we hang around people who are like that. You know, and we start becoming like them. And then, you know, you get saved. It happens. Sometimes it feels like a horror show. <laughs> but you get saved. And I put a poll out for my patrons. And today's poll, winner, winner, chicken dinner, is contemplation, which is the same thing as meditation and the same thing as prayer. And prayer in the Bible is P L, the letters P L. And it's the um, praying to authority is what it means. You know, pleading your case before authority. Because in the ancient times, in order to get into the city, you had to go through the gates. And if you were not allowed in, you could plead your case to authority there. That was the objective side. That's what it was, you know, compared to. It's like this. You know, but you're doing it with God. <laughs> okay. Well, how do you do that? You know, you you contemplate, you pray, you meditate on God. Okay, you think about God. You think about you know the aspects of God and you know, like Emmett Fox would say, you know, even if all you do is say God is love, you know, you'll get peace. It'll pass, you know, everything will work out. It'll be fine, you know, and you're, you're going to live. It's going to be good, you know, especially if you are pleading in a manner that you would sacrifice yourself for them because you recognize you did this, you know, you accept you did it. But now you accept that the higher authority loves you and always says yes and that is full of grace and mercy and will save you. You know, and some people call that I'm free. Some I'm saved. You know, liberty. You know, I like the word liberty because it makes you feel strong and courageous, you know, and saved is that happy relief. I don't have to deal with this. I've handed it over to a higher authority. And that is the I am in your heart. And when you think about him and you contemplate on him, you know, and you pray, that's what you're doing. When you contemplate and meditate, that's prayer. You know? And the question is, what are you contemplating and meditating on? Because you do that all the time. Those are your secret talks that you have with yourself where you're having them in reality to the being in your heart. You're a human being. Okay? And we know all about the human. Now, we need to know all about the being. Okay? And the being is infinite intelligence. He's been giving you all the intelligence to learn about all these things about humans. Okay. And now it's time to see the other side of it 
and that it's all beings, you know, and that's why, you know, a Solomon, uh, you know, someone who's wise, buys their tongue, stops and thinks about it, you know, and knows there's a higher authority in charge here. There's higher principles at work. You know, I'm not getting my ass bitten. And that's the fear of God. You know, you know better. So, you know, yeah. I think I'll sit back because you represent him here. All right? You're the mirror image of him here. <laughs> this is school where you learn that. You, you'd be like this. You'd be like this. You get everything going. Just be like this. Yeah. And that doesn't mean always walking around in your imagination. Okay? It doesn't. It means, you know, whenever you are alone in your thoughts, be in your imagination. Revise the things that didn't match up then. You have a role to play during the day. Go be yourself. I love who I am. You know? I'm not going to cringe. I'm not going to bite my tongue. I'm not going to take this shirt off because you don't like it. No. Oh, well. Go deal with yourself. You know? Well, how dare you? You need to take... No, I don't. I'm not the one with the problem. You are. Okay? And this is beginning to happen. And they're just kids. They don't know any better. They think they do because they know, you know, the secret. But they don't. They don't know anything. You know, seriously. I would love to go talk to some of these kids. Really? When was the last time you dug into the dumpster to find some deposit bottles so you could buy dinner? Hmm? Well, when? When was the last time that you had to, you know, go out there and hope the guy who picks you up doesn't kill you because you need to get to, you know, so-and-so, and you didn't ask for the ride, and you were just walking down the road, but he was kind enough to offer it to you. And you know what? I, he's a great guy. I'm just going to think he's a great guy. He's a great guy. I know he's a great guy. God is great. God is good. God is with me. And I'm going to get to the hospital in time. This is going to be great. You know, it, when was the last time you had to do that? You know, we're the people. We're the ones who took all this shit. So the Christ could learn. Yeah. You know? And it became democracy and meritocracy. And you don't mess with that stuff. You don't. You know? You keep it pure. If they're not representing, fired. Okay? And you do that with your vote. You know? And if you are not capable of that, if it's gotten so bad in your area, you can't do that. You sing. If Estonia could do it, then anybody can do it. It can't make you stop singing. And there's more of you than there are of them. You know? And they think they have the weapons, but those are your children who are in the military, not their children. And they'll turn on them and come and sing with you. It's the same with the police. It's the same with the firemen. It's the same with everyone. That's somebody's brother, sister, children, parents. Every one of them. Okay? Including the representatives who are trying to gaslight, busy smelling their own farts. Okay? Have some mercy and grace. We imitate God here, okay? But he can't show all his goodness and magnificence to all of us in magical, wonderful ways. There's no bad guys. You're learning good and evil. And you're learning that even when evil's been presented, it's not really evil. It's just misguided okay so understand there are certain prefixes 
that you should you know give you alarm bells miss misunderstanding mistake misguided those are sins you're missing the mark that's what sin means you want to be something and you're not you're misguided misinformed mis you know misinformed means you're when people call out misinformation they're saying that you're not forming the way I want you to be. <laughs> this is that information over there that you're looking at, you know, that's what you're forming. That, no, we want you to form this, okay? You're wrong, you know, this is how it is. And now, they know what they're doing, okay? You disregard them. Okay, you, you don't treat them with disrespect. You don't regard them. Okay, consider what you're saying to yourself. Contemplate. Contemplation is meditation. And today we like to tell ourselves that meditation is breathing deep, you know, going to silence. And now that's that's prayer you're it's going to the ark of the covenant that's what that is you're going to the power straight to the power you know and you're seeking you want to see it and usually people see light a kaleidoscope of lights you know uh, sometimes you end up in another time and place uh, you know but the point is it's all power and you touched it you know and that nothing shakes your faith in knowing there's a God that there's something bigger than myself and it loves me it let me touch it you know and it touched me and I'm changed for it and this is the um, you know description of Moses goes up like with his beautiful hair, his red beautiful hair, and he comes down, it's all white. He's a changed man. Okay, he's a changed man. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not objective, it's subjective. You know? It's not, this is not reality. My imagination is reality. You know? And then there's this thin fail going on where the objective guy will tell you, well, you're being delusional. And that's nothing. Watch out for that dud. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's an uh, illusion. Okay? It, it fades away. Emmett Fox is very good about explaining that. You know? They're just misguided. They're ignorant. They're walking in darkness. Because it's the higher principles that overrule the lower principles. So, no, I'm not. I'm actually putting things in place that I want to see and experience and have happen in my life. And you do this through contemplation. You think about it. Instead of thinking about, you know, I don't have anything. It's, you know, the world is mine and everything in it. It's a love world. I love my world. You know, I live in abundance. Say a prayer for abundance. And the idea is you're reading these words, and then later, when you're by yourself, you contemplate on that. You contemplate on what you said. You know, wherever I am, you know, whenever I am, whatever I am, whatever I need, I have available to me in abundance. Because, you know, you may not know who you are, or when you are, or where you are, but you always know you are. So wherever I am, whenever I am, wh you know, whatever I need, whenever I need it, wherever I need it, I have it in abundance. You know, wherever I am, whatever I need, whenever I need it, you know, for however long I need it. It's mine. 
is available to me in abundance. You know, and you contemplate on these things. And after a while, you'll get this feeling of peace. And things start to rock out. You know? So if you'd like a, you know, a copy of Emmett Fox's Prayer for Abundance or a video on that, I'm happy to do that. I think it's a great one to contemplate on. It, and um, that's just me. You know, I really resonate with Emmett Fox, but I resonate with parts of Neville Goddard. I resonate with parts of, um, you know, Joseph Murphy, as well as Florence Scofield Shin. I've read a million of them. Quimby, Trump, you know, there's a million of them. And you pick up little nuggets from each one. I like that. Oh, yeah. So, I do hope this helps. It's a... Uh, it's tricky because we keep changing the word, but if you get underneath it to the etymology and take it from someone who lives with a dictionary with the SARS, you know, and loves having the library at her fingertips looking at this stuff, you know, it's um, it's all the same thing. And what it means is, you know, everybody, when you're driving a car, you're taking a poop, you know, you're washing dishes, you do mundane tasks when you're, you know, walking in the park or whatever, you're contemplating on something. The idea is become aware of what you're contemplating on and change it, you know, and start living the good life and praise God because you didn't do it. He did it. He does it. You know, don't be like those guys who think they do it. You know he does it. And that's where you, you give thanks. So, you know, if you do anything for yourself, remove the word please, okay, out of your vocabulary, and replace it with thank you. And that will help you go a long, long way. So, I hope this helps. Blessings to you. And thank you. Thank you for being you. Yeah, sure.